a game design studio! At Commonwealth, we created a game design studio where students are using industry-wide software to create projects that they would if they were in a game design studio and were modelers and had to make a creature for a 3D movie or a 3D video game. And we're teaching them problem-solving skills. How do you use the computer? How do you use figure out the language behind the computer and the language behind technology? And how do you problem solve? If you want to create a creature that looks like this, what tools are going to help you with that? And how do you learn those tools? Because we can't sit down and teach the kids every single tool. They have to find a way to teach themselves and to problem solve and to do it in a collaborative process where they become experts at certain tools and then they notice that their friend is great at a different tool and they work together, they share what they know. Because this is what's really happening in the world today. I'm Gabe and I use 3D modeling program called ZBrush to make 3D models for video games. I'm Catherine and I used iMovie for video editing. I'm using Sculptures and I'm basically making a 3D model. We turned our lower school into a museum and so we hung up our um, self-portraits and our creatures that we made from like ZBrush, Sculptress, and Photoshop. Before we created our hybrid creatures, we worked on a concept. We think about the creature's characteristics, its powers and personality. We write this on a graphic organizer. Next, we think about the creature's habitat and where it would live. Finally, we think about what type of video game our creature would fit into. This is like thinking about what type of story or genre this creature would be in. Right now, this is the designing stage. And what we do is the, we have to design a habitat, paint it, and model it. And so that's basically what we do. It's an Edison lab. You share info information with other students. We had to reduce the polygons to make sure that it wouldn't crash. We used three axes, X, Y, and Z. We're helping students develop visual spatial reasoning skills to successfully operate in a 3D technology world. This reasoning also enables students to model math algorithms in a visual way to increase their conceptual understanding of math. Students are making a concrete path to their future now, and they know it. We teach students to understand how technology is another tool they can use to problem solve on their journey to become mathematicians, scientists, journalists, artists, teachers, and more. Commonwealth Academy teaches students with organizational, attention, or learning differences.